now that you've got a grasp of the tools uh, for creating shapes, editing shapes, editing the border radius, lines and arrows will actually be quite easy for you. I'll show you. So first we'll create some lines and things for us to work with. Uh, so you use the, you can click here for a line and draw it as normal, or you can use L as the hotkey for doing that. And if you hold down shift, you can, instead of having it free form, you can have it move down to a particular angle. You can change the thickness of it. You've got all these different settings over here. So that's pretty handy. I can just type blue, for example, and do that. Holding down the shift key and then pressing L brings up the arrow tool. So it's good to keep an eye on the top left to see what tool you're using. And then that creates uh, an arrow and I can use that to annotate uh, my designs and things that I'm working on. So for example, I could do this and then just press shift L every time in order to connect up all the different shapes that I've got. If you wanna make the arrow a different shape, for example, what I do sometimes is drag an extra vertex and change that to let's say 50. Okay, maybe 200. Yeah, 200 gives us a little bit more to play with. So I do this and gives it a nice uh, curve. So you can double click to go into the editing and then double click outside to go out. And from here, now I've got a nice little arrow I can drag over here. I can go to the corner and rotate and say, here is my, let's use T for text just to illustrate and use K to enlarge. You can see here is my starting point and I can annotate a little float. So that gives you an idea of the line tool, the arrow tool, how to edit it and move it around and practically what you might use it for. Oh,